when should you pull the goalie in hockey? Well, here, of course, let me explain. Goalie pulling means your net is empty on defense, but you have a 6 on 5 on offense. In an average game, a team scores 2.32 goals. For a 6v5, that number goes up to 6.39 for an increase of 4.07. With an empty net, it goes up to 19.16 for our opponent, or an increase of 16.84. So for every one extra goal we get, our opponent gets 4.14 goals. That's a pretty bad trade-off, so teams avoid it unless they are desperate and really need to play aggressive. But what does that mean mathematically? This chart shows the probability of winning at a particular minute of the game. It should make intuitive sense. If you're down, your chance of winning is less than 50%, and it goes lower the more you're down by. Vice versa when you're up. Cool. Now, if we look at one cell, 10 minutes left, down one, we can see that scoring a goal would increase our win probability by 36%, but being scored on would only decrease our win probability by 12%. It's not symmetric. This means that attacking is three times more valuable than defending. Let's call this ratio our aggression coefficient. Intuitively, we're down and need to score. So in this situation, I can play so aggressive that I give up as many as three goals for every one extra goal I get my team, and it will still be a net positive in terms of win probability. But I can't give up 4.14 goals. That wouldn't be worth it. So I shouldn't pull my goalie here. It would be too aggressive. But we can calculate this aggression coefficient for every cell in my graph. And now we can search the plot for places where the value is greater than 4.14. Those are exactly the situations where I want to pull my goalie. 